So now you're up to the part of the assignment where we can calculate your theoretical probabilities and your house edge. Now, you'll, it's a good idea to have your Word document up at the same time for this because this is going to take us adjusting things and it's part of your evaluate and verify for your assignment because you're going to be talking about why you're adjusting things. So we're going to take some little screenshots and then you're going to put that into your assignment. So first thing we need to do, I've only left space for four winning outcomes here and then the other. Now the other is your losses. So you'll need to insert a column above that. So if you go right click, insert, and then one will just appear above there so that you can add in your other winning outcome. Now you'll need to give your outcomes nicknames. I've called my outcome of yellow, yellow, just why, why. Uh, if it's a queen and then a yellow ball, you could have Q yellow or Q Y, whatever you need really. Okay, so the good thing with Excel is it does all of our hard work for us. So we're just going to input our fractions and then it's going to give us the output as decimals, but we want to input it as fractions so that it is exact and we're not losing any information. So first thing to do in this cell here, I need to put an equal sign. An equal sign in Excel tells the computer that, hey, we're about to do something. Uh, you need to work this out for us. So my outcome of yellow, yellow is 1 out of 91. Click enter. Next one below it is going to be our outcome of red, red occurred three times. So 3 out of 91. Blue, blue occurred six ways. So that's 6 out of 91. Green, green occurred 10 ways. So that's 10 out of 91. Press enter and you can see that it's got all of our probabilities there. So roughly my chance of obtaining yellow, yellow is 1%. Red, red is 3%. Blue, blue is 6%. And green, green is 10%. Now we're going to work out the other. So in order to work out the other, I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to use my understanding of probability and I'm going to do one, subtract, the sum of the probabilities before, because that's our composite event. Yeah, and that's going to give me 0 0.78. So roughly we're going to be winning at this game about almost 80% of the time we're going to lose. So it's about 20% win. So that's different to our house edge. Okay, now cost to play. This is a number that you're going to adjust later. So just throw in anything to start off with. Your win Again, this is something we're going to adjust. Obviously, the thing with the least amount of probability should be the one that gets the highest win. So I'm going to say 25, 15, 12, 10, and you get nothing if you lose. Okay, so the house win. Now, this is the one that you need to code into. So we're going to press the equal sign. Now, house win is calculated by your cost minus the win. So here I'm going to have the cost to play minus the win. Press enter and you can see that if the person gets yellow yellow we're down $22. So what I just did then is I held it in the right corner until it turned into that other little plus sign and then I clicked on it and dragged it down. The best thing about Excel is that we don't have to do all of this stuff by hand manually because Excel will do it for you. Okay, house win per dollar is calculated by doing the house win divided by the cost to play. So again, equals, select your house win, and we're going to divide it by your cost to play. Press enter. So for every dollar that's spent there, if everyone's getting yellow, yellow, I'm losing $7.33. I'm just going to delete this one here. That was more to show you how we got that space. Okay, and house edge. So the house edge is calculated as your probability multiplied by your house win per dollar. So it equals your probability multiplied by your house win per dollar. Enter. Now we're going to drag that number down. 
in this little spot here, I'm just going to put some, and this is where we're going to tell whether it's between our 15 to 25 percent. Okay, so initially my house edge is 11.35 percent. So we don't want that. That is too low. We need between 15 to 25 percent. That means we're going to have to adjust it. The first thing I would do is either copy and paste this or take a screenshot of this. You obviously don't need this little read me box down there. But I would take a picture of this and say, initially, I set the cost to play to be this much. The wind was that much, which made the house edge this, which is too low. I will now adjust the cost to play to see what effect this has. So next thing, change this all to fours. Oh, now we've made our house edge 33%. That's way too high. So again, I would take a screenshot of this and I would talk about what effect the cost to play adjustment has had on our game. So when adding a dollar to the cost of play for each outcome, uh, the house edge was increased from 11 to 33%, meaning that it was 20% higher. Um, this is now too much, so I'm going to adjust, adjust some of the winnings. Okay, and now let's look at what happens if we adjust the wind. Okay, so if I make the win less, then the house edge goes up. Okay, so changing the win for red red from 15 to 20 has increased my house edge to 0.29, which is still a bit too high. So now I'm going to adjust the other one. That makes it perfect. So if I go 25, 20, 15, 10, that puts my house edge at 0.24. So that's just underneath our 25% that we were stipulated in our conditions for the exam. Now, I would take a screenshot about uh, of this again and I would talk about how I've changed these and what effect it had down there.